One of the coolest things you can do in Photoshop is you can take a person from one image and drop them into another. But in order to do it convincingly, you need to know a few tips. Let me show you how to do it. So this is a real world example of my family. And anyone who's ever tried to take a holiday shot probably knows that kids don't sit still for long. So I've got both kids sitting where I want them here, but I want mom in the picture too, and I've only got one image of her. So what I need to do is grab our little boy on the left here, Liam, and drop him into the other image. And even though the perspective is a little bit different, the lighting is pretty uniform. So it's really gonna come down to the quality of my selection. I can handle the scale and the perspective in a minute. I'm gonna use the quick select tool for this. And the first thing I'm gonna do is zoom in pretty tight so I can see what I'm working with. And it's a pretty big selection. So I'm gonna hold down the Control and Option or Control and Alt key to give myself a larger brush. By moving left to right, I can select the brush size. And first, I'm just gonna click through here and not worry too much about what I select. I'm gonna hold the space bar to get the hand so that I can move the image. And I'm just gonna make a first pass on this and make sure that I've got most of what I want. The next thing we'll do is zoom into the image a little bit more. And now I'm gonna shrink my brush to work on the edges. Again, Control and Option or Control and Alt for a smaller brush. I'm gonna Shift click to add and I'm gonna Option or Alt click to remove. And I'm just gonna go all around the edge of the image. Option click will remove from it. Shift click will add to it. And the great thing about Quick Select is it's learning as I go. It knows more and more about my selection with each click. Shift click to add. Option click to remove. I might go for a smaller brush up here for this detailed area. Option click to remove. Okay, that looks pretty good. I've cut it a bit short. For the sake of this example, I've sped things up a bit, but you wanna make sure you take your time when it comes to making your selection, because the time you spend here will really add to the realism when we move this into the other image. Our next step is Refine Edge, and I've chosen to drop this in on a white background. And I'm gonna zoom back a little bit. I'm gonna increase my radius, and I'm gonna click on Smart Radius and this will soften the edges of my selection. And once I get this to the point where I want, I can click OK, hit Command C to copy that selection, and move over to our other image. Now when I hit Command V to paste it, he'll drop right in. Now the proportions aren't quite right, and he's obviously not sitting in the right spot, but all I need to do is hit Command T to transform this. Now the most important step in transforming is to hold the shift key while you drag it. That's gonna constrain the proportions of what you're transforming. While holding my shift key, I'm gonna make him a little bit smaller, and now I'm just gonna drag him over and drop him down there. That looks pretty good. If I wanna make him a little taller, that's pretty easy to do. Once I'm satisfied, I click on the checkbox and drop him in there. I can zoom in and look at it closer, and this is a layer. So I could turn it off or on, but I can also cut right through it to reveal the background. So if I grab my eraser tool, mid-size brush, I could actually have mom holding on to him there 
so he doesn't fall off the edge of the truck. There's all sorts of really cool things we can do with layers and masks, but if you take the time to make a great selection, you can do a really convincing job of dropping people from one image into another. It's a really great trick for your playbook.